Hello, hello, and welcome to Imperfectly Meek and another edition of Boss Lady Chronicles. I am appearing on camera to let you guys know about an exciting opportunity of what I will be doing for the holidays. Today's video will be the beginning of my holiday Tumblr series as well as the start of my holiday giveaway. In this giveaway, five of my subscribers will win a free Tumblr completely customized by mwah. The five winners will be selected at random from my subscriber list. Each winner will have up to six months to redeem their Tumblr. It can be of any complexity, color, size, whatever it is that they want, I will create. And the best part is I will feature it all on this channel. So you guys will have five tutorials from five different subscribers who won and created their own Tumblr design. If they wanna gift it to somebody, then they can do that too. So you better not miss out. You better make sure you're on that subscriber list because you may be a winner. The winner will be announced on December 26th on the video that launches at that date at 4 p.m. So do not miss out on the announcement of the winner and do not miss out on this giveaway. The only thing you have to do to enter to win is subscribe to my channel. No cost to you, completely free, and you will continue to support me so I can continue to make great videos for you all. Thank you so much for tuning in to another one of my videos. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to my channel, and let's get into this tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you all how I took this gift bag and made it into this tumbler you see here, and took this gift bag and made it into this tumbler you see here. This was so exciting and a first for me, so I'm excited to show you how I did it. First, we are going to start with this gold spray painted tumbler that I spray painted using my favorite method. Check that video out down in the description below. And we're gonna grab the gift bag so we can cut it up how we want it. So I have about a medium sized gift bag and you're gonna need a gift bag that's about this size as long as it can cover the top to the bottom of the tumbler or even more. And this gift bag has two different sides. One is textured and one is not, but I'm gonna use the textured side because I liked it better. Now that we have decided on which side of the bag we are going to use, we are going to go ahead and cut this bag up so we only have the front panel of the bag. And you want to make sure you remove the hook that's inside if there is one inside of your bag and also make sure that you take out the handles as well. Once you have the front panel removed, you're going to grab your bag and you're going to wrap it around your tumbler to get an idea of which portion of it you want on your tumbler. For me, I wanted to include pretty much above the deer portion and below, but my tumbler was too short for that. If I had a 30 ounce, it probably would have worked, but this is a skinny 20 ounce. So I went ahead and just kind of got an idea of where I needed to cut my panel so that I can include the major portion of this bag, which is the deer portion. I then began to fold the panel over the top portion of the tumbler as well as the bottom portion of the tumbler so I got an idea of where to cut for the perfect layout. Now that I have determined where the top and the bottom will start and end, I'm going to remove the panel from the tumbler and cut along the crease that I created by folding the panel over. Now that the height is determined of the panel, I need to now determine the width of the panel. So I'm going to reapply the panel onto the tumbler and I'm going to look and evaluate the overlay that is left. Now I want to leave some of the overlay, but not a whole lot, but you leave some of it just for any room for error and allow it to have a smooth transition to the other side. So once I remove the excess, I'm then going to discard that and then reevaluate it again to make sure that it has a perfect fit onto the tumbler. Once we are completely satisfied, it is now time for the Mod Podge. Now, I am completely messy with Mod Podge. I have no clean way of doing it, so I just grabbed the nearest brush that I found to use for this project. But I later determined that I had some brown paint left over on this brush, so it kind of made a mess, guys, but it figured it all out and it worked out. So you'll just see me be really messy with Mod Podge right now. But I'm just going to make sure the panel is cut and ready to be applied, and I'm going to dip my brush into the Mod Podge 
massage and brush it onto the tumbler as well as onto the panel now again i just applied mod podge in any particular fashion i just laid it on out there multiple different ways in many different places just to make sure that it adhered to the tumbler Once all the Mod Podge had been applied, I then did like a burrito roll with the tumbler onto the panel and then just made sure I did it really, really tight so that it could be secured to the tumbler. I then made sure I added a generous amount of Mod Podge to the seal of the panel. Here is the panel now that all the Mod Podge has been applied and we're going to allow this to dry and move on to the next one. We are now going to repeat the same steps from the last gift bag onto this gift bag. And the only difference is this gift bag actually has glitter already applied to it on the front portion of it. So we are going to use that to our advantage for this tumbler. Now the noted differences between these two tumblers is this one has a vertical layout while the other one had more of a horizontal layout. With these two gift bags, this difference does not change how we are going to move forward with applying this bag. Okay guys, so I made a mistake when cutting this tumbler, so I'm going to go back and add some of my scrap pieces to help fix the imperfection. We are going to allow both of these tumblers to dry overnight and then we will be back for our first coat of epoxy. These tumblers have now dried overnight and we are ready for our first coat of epoxy on both of these. If you are not familiar, my preferred brand of epoxy is Art Resin. And I used about 20 milliliters of epoxy on each of these tumblers. For the reindeer tumbler, I added in some arctic glitter into the epoxy because I wanted to give it more of like a snowy kind of winter wonderland feel. If you are not seeking this effect, then you could just leave it just how it is with a plain coat of epoxy. As always, you want to make sure you hit your tumbler with your heat gun to alleviate any possibilities of air bubbles. We are going to allow these to dry overnight, do a little bit of sanding as needed in between, and do another coat of epoxy on top to make sure we have the smoothest finish as possible. Here are some of the things that when I make this again that I'm going to take note, or if you guys decide to make it, I want to make note for you all. So first, let's start with this reindeer one. So this, as you remember, started as that reindeer bag. Um, everything came out perfect as far as the layout. Now, the bottom of it is a little rigid here where it's kind of lifting a little bit. So I probably would have added some more Mod Podge, maybe another coat of Mod Podge on here to flatten it out and sand it some more. Um, and I can still sand it some more, which will help where it won't be as rigid, uh, but it is a little rigid down here. Um, as far as the top, I think everything looks pretty good. Um, I do have some air bubbles collecting around here, but that's fine for me. Both of these tumblers are for me anyways, so I'm not really tripping about what has taken place and I'm fine with the imperfections. But to take note, there was some air bubbles up here and it's probably because I tried to make sure I sealed a lot of epoxy up this way because I didn't want this portion to lift as well. So again, I would add next time more Mod Podge on the top and the bottom before uh, the layers of epoxy. Um, those are the only things I noticed about this tumbler. You could also add just glitter onto the actual design without like the full blown glitter on the entire tumbler. For example, you can take Mod Podge and a brush and like add glitter on this tree or add some glitter on some of these swirls that exist here. For me, I was going for the simple look and I just wanted to create kind of like a snowing effect to it. So I am gonna clean this with my favorite method. If you have not seen that video, on how to clean this tumbler completely up. So none of this imperfections, it doesn't look like this at all. Make sure you check out that video. The link is down in the description below. Now moving on to this tumbler. This tumbler as well was also a gift bag as you saw earlier. This one actually had glitter on it and surprisingly it stayed on it. I didn't have to seal it. I didn't have to do anything to it. All I did was 
add epoxy on top and the glitter stayed in the sections. So if you notice, there's glitter on the snowman and on the happy holidays. Now with this tumbler, same thing as mentioned in the last one, this bottom portion and top portion is a little bit rigid. So I would add some more Mod Podge on it when you do it in the first initial steps. Um, also with this one, as you as I mentioned earlier, I did cut it a little bit too short, so I had to go back and add some more here, which kind of created this imperfection down here. One of the things that I will mention when I do another tumbler, which because I'm obsessed with how this came out and obsessed with this concept and how quick it was, I can guarantee I will be making some more of these gift bag tumblers, but I am going to invest in that like slicer where it can cut straight lines. That will help a lot with some of the issues I had with these imperfections on the bottom because it's not fully straight. I am not a straight cutter with scissors. Some people are. I am not. I'm going to invest in that for the next couple tumblers I make. I also wanna point out the bottom of these tumblers. The bottom is just green and just gold. I did not add or put any of the gift bag on the bottom because I was afraid that it would not be smooth. And with the way it feels at the bottom, I don't think it would be. So I recommend just spray painting it maybe a white or if you wanna paint it again a different color just to make sure that it blends in with the tumbler. So I'm gonna clean these up and be back in a little bit to show you guys the final products. And here you have the final products. I am obsessed with how these came out. And you can really do this with any type of gift bag, whether it's a birthday gift bag, a baby shower gift bag, a wedding gift bag. Whatever the gift bag is, you can create these tumblers. Guys, I'm happy with how this turned out. Thank you so much for tuning in to another one of my videos. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And don't miss out on that giveaway, guys. See y'all next time.